Hey, Mom. So, the bestseller list comes out today. Number three. This can't be real. I've never seen a splash like this for an indie author, let alone a first timer. I'm convinced my alarm is going to go off any second. Daniel Burke, looking forward to working together. Sophie Wood, nice to meet you. For book tours, we always hire a public speaking coach to help authors prepare. And Dan has been working hard on his web series scripts. So I was thinking maybe in return for his help with the coaching, you could help him with some editing. That won't be necessary, honestly. I'm totally good to go. No offense, and thank you. So these are reporters from some of the top lit magazines. Yeah, I've never really um, <clears throat> done this before. Uh... I'm terrified. I despise public speaking. Let me help you. Step one in the coaching program is breath work. Public speaking and forgetting how to breathe seem to go hand in hand for me. Step two is facing your fears. You really have to pick the tallest building in the neighborhood? You got it, come on. Ooh! There you go. Of all the fears I listed, I didn't think you were gonna be able to get your hands on rollerblades so quickly. <laughs> Are you good? I'm good. You told him I'm afraid of small spaces? See, I'm perfectly fine. Wait, what if we get trapped? We could walk out. <laughs> I'm going to be on the Tailored to the Page podcast tomorrow at 9 a.m. Help. This is actually the perfect warm-up. You get to work on your interview skills without actually having a crowd. Are you okay? How about we pencil in a mandatory dinner break? The world needs your voice and your story, Sophie. Because what you have to say matters. Thank you, Daniel, for everything. And thank you for taking a chance and trusting me. You heard back on those scripts yet? We are back at square one, unfortunately. Well, why don't you send me what you have now, and I'll see if I can help come up with some fresh story ideas. Hey, Sophie, I didn't mean to send me the episode you were writing about me behind my back. It is not what it looks like. Your services will no longer be needed. Maybe your paths will cross again after this storm subsides, and then you can get to the bottom of what his true intentions were. Where did the inspiration for her character come from? Her perseverance, her drive, was inspired by my mom. That was fantastic. The book deal's all but signed. <gasps> wow. Listen, I'm sorry I didn't hear you out yesterday. I'm scared. Nah, I, I shouldn't have started anything without your permission. It was actually something I've been a little scared to do for a while now. <laughs>